Let's tune into angelic messaging and get some answers for the things that are the heaviest on your heart. And when we open up to angelic energy, we are able to accept the help a little bit better than we would before because perhaps we were overthinking the solution, thinking the ego knows everything, right? So we're going to do that today. And how we're going to do that, I'm going to do a general message here in the beginning. Then I will break it down into groups. The way you choose a group, I would highly encourage you, close your eyes, breathe in deeply, especially through the heart space, and from a calm place, see what group you are pulled towards. So it might be more than one. So let's say you're pulled towards group two, but a little bit of one. Two is what you listen to first, and then listen to group one as a secondary message. Okay, so that's how we do that. Now I do have a few things I want to let you know about here in the beginning. First and foremost, I was taking um, brief appointments for live readings. Did I just drop one? I did not. Okay, <laughs> for live readings, uh, and those are going to be done for the time being. When I have time to do live uh, personal readings, I will let you know. I am, of course, still doing the standard readings, which you can go get yours at angelsouls444.com. There's no time commitment on your part. Sign up for it. I get it prepared. I get it sent back to you. And again, as you listen to those readings, because you're opening up to angelic energy, you're going to get into alignment. You're going to keep getting messages from that. You are going to get clarity. You're going to get your answers. Okay. So there is that. I also have a live event coming up uh, on August 16th. It will be from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Mountain Time here in the U.S. The information will be in the description box. Go ahead and sign up for that. The format for that will be we're going to be discussing dimensional splitting. Huh. That's a big one right now. If you've been experiencing a lot of weirdness, we're going to talk about it. And we're going to be talking about the upcoming energy portals. So what I will do is I will do a whole talk on that. At the end, I will take questions. Please keep in mind, if you are going to come to this live event, the questions that you ask should benefit everybody who is attending. You do get a recording of it. So if you can't make it live, you can watch it later on. Please do not use this as a time to try to get a free personal reading. Okay. We're not taking up everybody's time like that. Make sure they are relevant to everybody. Okay, so there's that. I guess that's everything there. Let's see what's going on here. I have to be careful what I say in this video. I will be making a separate video on that very beloved place that is going through extraordinary circumstances right now. But again, I will make a separate video on that. All right, everyone, let's participate, right? <laughs> Audience participation. Everybody, if you can, if you're, you know, driving, obviously you shouldn't be watching this probably while you're driving. Uh, don't be doing that nonsense, okay? But if you're able to close your eyes and take a deep breath in, go ahead and do that right now. This is for August 14th, 2023, the week of. Okay. All right, so we have seven of earth that came out of the deck. Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. This is a time where it might feel like you are spinning your wheels, where, okay, I've done all the stuff I'm supposed to do. Why isn't there forward momentum? This is definitely saying stay grounded, stay connected, stay in alignment. Things are not what they seem. All right, that is the big takeaway here I do believe let me get more on that renewal the numbers 20 reduces to two stay grounded <laughs> stay balanced this is Archangel Jeremiah so this is going to be a time remember these aren't actually the time that this is just the time I'm releasing it you can watch these videos at any time okay but Jeremiah is all about looking back at how we've approached things you know what have we allowed to come to pass? How have you been living under what circumstances? Uh, this could be a really big breakthrough time, although there might be, it's more the realization, the full culmination of the breakthrough will probably come through the end of this year. 
as those energy portals start activating, if you want to see it that way, or if that's too dramatic for you, <laughs> just opening. Okay. So renewal, Archangel Jeremiah, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts, time to move in a new direction. One of the breakthroughs that I'm thinking of is if you've always had some sort of guilt or shame, or you always felt like you were the bad guy, you might wake up and go, whoa, I'm dealing with highly manipulative people who are constantly victimizing themselves and making me, you know, the scapegoat. You might be breaking through that and saying no more. The renewal comes from a place of a new perspective. Okay. And you realize, you, you might also realize that some sort of delay is actually serving you well. Okay. All right. We have queen of earth, a lot of earth right now. Thoughtful, creative. <coughs> Excuse me. Where did that even come from? I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> queen of earth, thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So far, this is saying, you know, as we make choices about what direction we're going to go in. How are we going to implement that renewal? This might go against, it's that dimensional splitting that I'm going to be talking about on Wednesday night, right? So we're going to start seeing people who are very stuck in the old way. And then others who want to move on kind of getting blasted because they want to move on or because they see things in a different way or they want to manifest Maybe now it's not manifesting luxury things. Now it's, I just want to manifest peace. I just want to have a roof over my head. I just want to be able to not have a financial burden hanging over me. You feel me? Like things like that. To a fire, you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. I'm going to tell you what. This week feels very much, remember, they are actually timeless, but let's just say this week, right? Because that's how our brains work. Um, it feels like there's not going to be rapid movement in general, okay? Now, as we break this down into the groups, that might change, or you might see that things are kind of slow at first and then they take off. But this is saying, okay, we need to stop, reevaluate, not overthink it. Not go down the road of let me make up whatever story around this that sounds interesting and run with that. But in, you know, the example of some recent happenings, again, I'll make a separate video on that, but recent happenings, how people came out for their photo ops, okay? Before, I would even say like just a few years ago, people would have been like, oh my gosh, they would have fallen for it. They would have been like, oh my gosh, how great that, you know, these people are showing up. And now we're looking at it and going, Ugh, we know exactly what that was, right? <laughs> like that was just to look good. So this might be kind of a slow week where you're trying, but you're finding like-minded people. You might not just be having free-flowing communication around that just yet. So it's more getting back in touch with your own power as we always talk about. But uh, i got my deck stuck under here. There we go. <laughs> um, maybe not being very like outward about it. It's more about keeping things to yourself a little bit. And I would dare say too, if you have a creative project, don't go screaming it from the rooftops. Okay. Lemon access, innovative thinking. Number 23 reduces to five. Five is the number of change. So what this whole week I think is telling us to do is stop, open your eyes, right? We always say, Hey, wake up people, right? <laughs> but this is your chance to actually do that. But yet you don't scream, as I said before, you don't, you're not screaming the results from the rooftops. You're keeping it to yourself because the change that you are being asked to do or to endure or to come through takes all of your energy. So if somebody is trying to play the victim so that they get attention, if someone's trying to, you know, bully you and victimize you because you set a boundary with them, this is where we're seeing things for what they really are and getting past it. All right, so there's the general part of it. Let's break it down into the groups. Again, as a reminder, take a deep breath in, tune into your heart space, see where you are drawn to, and listen to those messages. Now, you can always come back, let's say, midway through the week, at the end of the week, choose different groups, <laughs> right? see where you are, see what hits you, 
And every time you listen, you will get more of a message. So this is a, these videos don't have to be a one and done kind of thing. All right. Bear that in mind. Angel Souls 444.com if you would like to get a personal reading with me. I should have said this at the beginning, but let me say it here. 1010 is the busiest time for me. And I'm going to be doing another move potentially around that time. I know the day of endings and I'm doing another move. <laughs> so I'm just in a temporary spot right now. So please keep that in mind. If you want your 10, 10 reading, don't wait, get in line now because a lot of people want those and I can get it to you by 10, 10. You feel me? So yeah, angelsouls444.com. Let's get on to the groups. <laughs> Hello, group one. Let's get you some further answers. Remember that angelic guidance, it's not like getting a psychic reading. Very different frequency that we're uh, working with. What will essentially happen as you listen to this, you want to calm the ego down. All right, so breathe into it. Listen with your heart. What does that mean? That means that as you hear it, it may not make immediate sense. But I would highly encourage you to take notes and see how things play out. That energy is coming in. It's opening us up. Higher frequency, you know, if you want to see your, your DNA getting activated or like your light body getting activated. However you see that, the angelic energy can help do that. So what essentially happens is they bring in the messaging, but you're feeling it through your entire being. Not just like clairvoyance as with a psychic reading. Or just clairaudience or just clairsentience. It's... Your whole being, as I keep saying. Okay? All right. Group one, let's get this for you. To a fire. We had that for the general. You've come into your own. That's a big thing. You stepping into your own power. If you have... Um, move my microphone a little closer. Sorry. <laughs> if you have had a time where you feel like you have lost yourself, nothing brings you joy anymore. You forget what used to make you happy. This is a time where you're tuning back into that in some way okay new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward so again this is saying you know don't give up on your dreams don't give up on who you want to be now if who you want to be is famous just because your ego needs it see that's that's the biggest thing with this dimensional splitting and just as a reminder we're going to be doing a live event on wednesday evening the 16th at 6 30 p.m 6 30 to 8 p.m mountain time. So make sure you sign up for that if you want to join us. But the dimensional splitting, I think, is going to be having people not be so concerned about material things and more about what tr where their true power is. So we'll get into all of that on that night, including the 1010 portal. Queen of Fire. <laughs> all right. Confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll get this worked out. I'm not at my usual desk. So I have this like little temporary desk with a pen that's rolling all over. Dogs barking in the background, the whole bit. <laughs> so um, yeah, so you've come into your own. That's what this is saying. And this says stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Some of you may have been taking all this passionate energy and putting it into survival. And so... Things that you really love have taken a back seat. 
I was just talking to somebody a couple of weeks ago. She was sitting down reading a book that she really, really loved. And I was so happy for her. <laughs> I couldn't help but think, man, when was the last time I actually got to sit down and read a book? You know, like, I, I don't think I take time for that. And I need to do that. Or to finish my own book. All right. The Emperor. I can't even talk about it, okay? <laughs> the Emperor, number four, stability. Angels are guiding you. Super imperative to make sure you're in the proper frequency to be receiving this angelic you could see uh, see it as guidance or just they can just envelop you and and help you feel or rem help you remember that you are lovable and that you are loved you know that is a powerful powerful thing that everyone just just kind of like dismisses i don't know anyway the emperor archangel michael organization and logic structure and discipline leadership this along with these other cards your way to stability is taking charge of your own life. That's what it feels like here. And, and reclaiming. There's a big word there, reclaiming. So you can have a new start. Look at this. Oh my gosh, so this is the dreamer. Okay, Archangel Metatron. Metatron factors into all of this in a big way. He is the one that is um, sort of revamping our energy field so that we can receive, so that we can have expanded consciousness expanded awareness so again in that dimensional splitting we have more awareness of what truly links us into happiness and disconnecting from what we've been trained to think okay a leap of faith follow your dreams there's okay y'all are following your dreams this week unexpected opportunities <laughs> you guys i'm so happy for you there is a reset a restart there is i got these upside down there we go um there's a completion I would say there is a, a definite completion here where it's like I'm gonna let go of that old way I'm not gonna be intimidated I'm not gonna be shaking in my boots because this organization or that organization is threatening me or trying to take away my rights when we realize that no one actually has power to do that we're pretty good all right so we have white lighten up the number is 24 reduces to six. This is totally you letting go of stress that has been imposed upon you. Um, again, with agencies, rules. Now, don't be one of those people who's like, I'm just a rebel and I don't follow the rules. And then you just go off and do whatever the heck you want. That's something else. Okay. That's self-centeredness, I think. But <laughs> the white here is saying, hey, number one, you're supported. Okay. And you also don't have to give in to the heaviness, six is the material world. So it's asking you, can you lighten up within the material world? Can you bring more light into your situation? If you don't like how things are going on, right? How things are shaking out for you, does it have to be dire? Does it have to be the end of the world, right? So you can't see it because it doesn't pick, or maybe you can see it. Yeah, there's um, a white feather on there. So that would be angelic presence. I'm telling you guys, be working with angels. Be working with angels. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hey there, group two. I'm, I'm laughing because um, I got a guest star here. Come here, Manny. I don't know if he's now going to come on camera, but he will be here with us. Come on, baby. You want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Look at his little heart nose. He's so sweet. He's a baby. Okay, group two. So, I'm going to have cat hair all over me now. Uh, the way for you to receive your message, the best way, again, is to breathe. Try to quiet down, calm down the ego. Because angelic frequency is very different from, like, getting a psychic reading, even a tarot reading. It, it's different frequencies. Not bad, but they're just different frequencies. This way will help you feel loved and supported as you receive your messages and do the changes that you need to do. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. So we have two of our... I like all the twos coming up. That's Sandalfin energy, y'all. Okay. 
<laughs> work with Sandalfin. Too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. So you guys are getting the um, the signal here. I did not blow out my hair. I'm sorry, guys. You know how it goes. If you've watched me for any length of time, my hair does whatever the heck it wants to do. Anyway, so <laughs> too much going on at once. You're needing to stop and reevaluate what is getting my time and attention and is it worth it? Is it worth it to engage in a fight? Is it worth it to try to fight or change somebody? You feel me? Seven of fire, defend your beliefs. All right. <laughs> defend your beliefs and, and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. That, okay. Maybe that's it. There's a lot of maybe relationship stuff that's calling your attention away that... I don't want to sit here and say, oh, it's just a bunch of drama. You're... No, that's not what they're saying. They're saying that there are energy cords that are going every which way for you right now. And in order for you to implement these much needed changes, you need to bring your, your energy back. Okay. All right. Then we have seven of air, seven of fire, seven of air, plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. Truths are being revealed. And you are done. You're ready. As you see here, it's almost like a merry-go-round. So you're ready to get off the merry-go-round. But this might come with a little bit of a battle. I'm not going to lie. Or this feels very much like, I, was, I think I was saying this in the general, where people will be super toxic with you and commanding, demanding, and then you do your own thing and they see you as a bad person. That's where you're having to go, no, you will not scapegoat me. No, you will not keep me from living my happiness or being healthy for a lot of people. Queen of Fire, this seems to be coming up a lot too. Confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So here we go. You are breaking, breaking down walls and breaking through so that you can... Settle into this new version of you, right? So I don't want to sit here and say, oh, it's going to be like you from the past. It's not. Like you've evolved. You're coming on through. But there's some last little hurdles to overcome, essentially. So let's get your color card here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it flipped right out. Turquoise, awaken your empathy. The number 34 reduces to 7. This is that important energy that you are now flowing into and you're breaking down, like I keep saying, like breaking down those walls and saying, no, I'd rather be in a pure energy flow than fighting people. That doesn't mean, you know, that you should, obviously there's the, what was it, the seven of fire that says defend your beliefs and decisions. You're standing your ground. But doing it in, from an empathetic place, in a more free flowing kind of way, instead of battling. Does that make sense? You got a little bit of a rough patch here, but it's not bad. It's sort of um, maybe a little cathartic. <laughs> it's going to be a little cathartic. Or maybe you get to say what you've always been afraid to say. Or you finally, you know, put your foot down. You set some boundaries. Whether people like it or not, that's a whole lot of their problem and none of yours. Remember, they, in most cases like that, they need you more than you need them. All right? So we'll leave it there for you guys. If you want to work with me, go to angelsouls444.com. Hello, group three. So just a reminder, the way to take in these angelic messages in the most effective way is to calm down the ego, take a deep breath in, listen with your heart. And as you get these messages, they may not make immediate sense. That's not how angelic messaging works. That's more tarot reading. That's more psychic readings, different frequency. Again, not bad. Doesn't have to be. It depends on the practitioner, I suppose. But, <laughs> but you know, somebody who's very ethical and a good reader, tons of beautiful tarot readers out there for sure. But this is different, okay? This is fifth dimensional energies and above. So in order to really take that in and not let the ego interfere with the messaging, you have to be in a calm, cleared space. So let's see what is going on. We have Manny here. Manny, you want to come over? Come here. Come here, buddy. You want to say hi? Oh, he's, he's snuggling with me here. <laughs> But he's right here. He's right off camera. You want to come up here, baby? You want to come up here? He's like, no, I don't think so. Anyway, <laughs> he 
he may make an appearance. Who knows? All right. Can you help us tune in? <laughs> All right. Okay. The group three people, you may have come through something. You might be some of the people coming through some of the disasters. Not that it's going to happen. I'm just saying that some of you have already experienced some of this. Nine of fire. Yeah, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. This is feeling like, okay, I'm hanging in there, but I really can't take one more thing before I just completely collapse under the pressure. So hang in there, okay? Hang in there. You are strong. Oh, you're so much stronger than you think. And you're about to have a, a renewal here. So page of earth, scholarly, dependable, patient... Patient, successful. Man, don't you dare. <laughs> Scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So for some of you, you know, that nine of fire might be like life circumstances. It could also be career. But whatever it is, you're having a fresh start. You are starting over. But it does mean then that you have to, again, like it says, study might be something new maybe you don't know how to start over but you'll get there all right four of water missing an opportunity discontentment or boredom open your eyes to the possibilities you don't want to start over like you're struggling but you don't want to start over so take this into consideration sit with this ask yourself where am i self-sabotaging where am i holding myself up from a new beginning that could be uh very beneficial for you come here buddy uh, Ace of Earth, see, if you relax and you see what's around you, there could be a new opportunity coming in. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Now, these are hybrid cards, okay? So they have angelic energy because of the imagery, the different wording, that sort of thing. So this is actually saying to you, you know, don't just look, it could be a business opportunity, but don't just see opportunities as that, you know, opportunity to see the clear or have clarity in a situation, to see the truth of a situation. That's an opportunity too, right? And sometimes those could be the catalyst for beautiful things opening up in your world. So if the universe isn't just like coming in and dumping a big old gift on your front door, don't sit back and say the universe has it out for me because <laughs> like you need to work with the universe. Oh, we got two for you. All right. So we have lemon access, innovative thinking. The number is 23 reduces to five, which is change. And then we have plum overcome your challenges. 41 reduces to five. It might be a little bit of a rough start here for y'all. Okay. But then things are going to start picking up and the, the way you come through is you get the aha moment and the aha moment comes from you getting out of your looping mindset, lifting your face up and looking around and seeing what needs to go. All right. So bear that in mind, <laughs> telling you, you'll be okay though. You've, you've got some really, really lovely things coming for you. So angelsouls444.com. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.